Hey there guys and welcome back to Unjaded Jade. So today's video is a highly, highly requested video to the point that I would probably say almost every single video I post has someone commenting on it like how many hours should I be working each night after school for this subject? Like Jade, I have this many days till exams. How much work should I be doing right now? Tell me the number of hours. And equally, I get lots of comments like, how many hours of work are you doing a day, Jade? How many hours are you doing at the weekend? How many hours do you do after school? How many hours should you be doing? So yeah, hopefully in this video, I'm gonna give you a better idea of how much you should be doing, um, dispel some myths and generally just give you some advice, I guess. However, before we start, I am very excited to say that this video is sponsored by Uni Days. If you're a student, which I'm kind of presuming you are based on the title of this video, and you haven't heard of Uni Days, then I promise you, you are missing out. I remember when I was growing up, I always thought that Uni Days was only for university students to get like student discounts on loads of different brands and stuff. But basically it's not, it's also for sixth form students and college students too. So if you're a student, you can get a free student discount literally all year round on so many different things with uni days. Just having this little app has saved me so much money um, across the years that I've been at school. You can save on so many brands like Urban Outfitters, getting your cool aesthetic stationery from Paper Chase, Kiki K, Spotify, Shoe, My Protein. ASOS. I can't even think of them all because there are so many. I actually wish I'd known about it earlier. Um, my friend told me about it and it's really easy. You just type in your school email address, you like verify it and that's it. You get free student discounts all year. Um, so yeah, if you don't already have uni days, then click the link in my description and it's so easy. You just sign up, type in your school email and you get some discounts. <laughs> I'm honestly honored that this video is sponsored by Uni Days because I just, I love their app. I think it's amazing, so yeah. Okay, now moving on to hours of revision and work and homework and how much schoolwork you should be doing. How much work you do is individual to you. It is up to you to look at your timetable, recognize when you have tests, when you have an exam, recognize which areas of which subjects you struggle with and which bits you need to focus on. Whether you take longer to learn things and get things in your brain or whether you are able to not spend as long and retain things quickly, but maybe you need to do more practice questions. I honestly think the number of hours you spend is so individual. And in all honesty, this is why I am so hesitant in so many of my videos to give you hour lengths of me revising. So I think that there is a bit of a trend in YouTube. Um, not that this is bad and not that this is intended in any way, um, but for revision YouTubers to monitor the amount of work they're doing based off of hour lengths. So like, um, like a nine hour day study with me, for example, I know that people can be quite impressionable and look at that video and think, oh my God, I'm not doing eight hours, like, I'm officially not productive, I'm not doing enough work. More than anything, the number of hours is not as important as the quality of work you're doing. I would personally much rather do a lot of productive work in the space of two hours than drag that work on for like five hours if I could be super productive and do it in less time. So yeah, as I say, I don't think hours is what you should be measuring your work in, but more the number of tasks you complete or how how solid you feel like the information is in your head if it's revision yeah judging it on more specific things within what you're learning as opposed to just hours i cannot stress the importance of finding this balance between doing enough work and making sure that you are working hard and not burning out and not doing too much too early or sacrificing things like social life in order to maintain like your grades. It's so hard to balance. But yeah, I am gonna give you an idea of how many hours I do just to help give you an idea. Hey guys, so I'm back. <laughs> I mean, the natural light's gone and we're now onto a ring light, but it's cool. <laughs> so I actually think it's really important to judge the time of year that it is as well. So right now, 
it is not exam season, or at least it isn't exam season in the UK, maybe it is like elsewhere. Um, so obviously the amount of work you do now will slowly scale up as you hit exam season. So I personally think that most of your time now should be spent not necessarily doing hardcore learn revision every day, but more making your notes, making your flashcards, making sure you're on top of all your subjects, going through your homework, going through things you got wrong, making the time now to go through, um, making the time now to go through things you don't understand and also highlighting things that you want to go ask teachers. So yeah, I think that's how your home time and academic time should be spent, as well as doing things like homework. I think it's important to think about starting revision for things like A-levels and GCSEs and consolidate things, but I suppose with A-level especially, you sort of do that as you go. Like I've just had mocks in AS content in biology and chemistry, so that's kind of revision in itself. But yeah, as Easter approaches, Easter for me is when I'm like, Right, Jade, right, exams, we're gonna do some more work. I think especially the younger you are, like it's equally as important to play sports and to get involved elsewhere, to volunteer, to do DV, to do NCS, to do all these other cool things, as opposed to just spending all your time doing work and doing revision. Like obviously those things are so important and you should be doing them, but they are not the only thing that is important in my eyes anyway. And before I go into more specifics, I think one of the most important things to recognise about doing work each day is in making it habitual, like making it a habit. Even if you don't have loads of like stuff to be memorising right now, I think it's important to do a little bit of work each day at home to get yourself into this habit of doing home revision and home study. Um, even if that is half an hour a day of like focused time, like not with your phone there. I mean, I know folks in year 10 and I know that he can just like cram a load of work in one day and then not just not do some the other. And I was quite like that. And I think it's better to get into the habit of just doing something every day as opposed to doing like a loads of hours one day and then none the other day. Because in making it a habit, you're like telling your brain like, this is my focus time for the day. This is the time that I'm gonna be doing some work. Doesn't matter how long it takes. This is, you know, this is my time to do some stuff. Okay, so I had to think about how much time I actually spend doing stuff. And I also just wanna say, this is not every day. This depends on the day. This depends on how much I have to do, whether it's my YouTube upload day, because I'll be honest, Wednesday is probably the day I do the least work because I'm more focused on like youtube -y things, I guess. But yeah, I tend to come home and most days until about four, because I get home at like, I don't know, 3.40 maybe, I will chill until then and I will make myself some herbal tea, I'll get a snack, I'll chat with my mum, I'll see Willow, I'll do all these chill things. Um, and then at about four o'clock is when I tend to start doing more work. And I tend to go from four until whenever dinner is. So we tend to have dinner around 5.30. So I'm gonna say that's about an hour and a half. Um, and then dinner's like my break. So for that time, chat with the fam, great times. Um, and then at about six-ish, I come upstairs and I will do more work. And the time that I finish really depends on the day, how much I've got to get done, whether I have a test the next day or like in a few days. But I'd say I sort of work until about nine, eight thirty nine, but never just like a straight set. Well, maybe sometimes, but generally not a straight session. I have like breaks in between. Um, and then at about like eight forty five, I might do some yoga. I might try and wind myself down, I might go on my phone. I don't know, it depends. I'd say that's probably my, my current routine. Actually, my current routine also involves um, doing a Vlogilates workout because, you know, get those gains. <laughs> um, I was convinced to do that by Liverick. However, sometimes if what I'm doing is quite intense, like it doesn't take a long amount of time, but it's super focused, then I don't really see the see the necessity in just mindlessly working for hours. So sometimes I sit and just learn like identities for maths or uh, like I do really long answer questions for maths, like six mark questions, which require like a lot more thought. Um, and if I do that really proper focus stuff, then I'm more inclined to take a bigger break after or like not do as many hours. Um, I think the things that take the longest are things like 
research, flashcards, notes, understanding, that kind of thing. And at the weekends, again, it's so variable, um, depending on what I'm doing that weekend. I'm not one of these people who can just sit down and purely revise for eight hours straight and just, you know, that's fine. I mean, I suppose I could do it, but I would get so bored and restless. I know that the work I would do would become less and less focused. It would be more being there for the sake of being there or like doing work for the sake of doing work. For me, when I'm doing revision or doing work, I am there, I'm doing my revision, I'm doing my work. I'm not faffing around half on my phone and therefore it takes a lot less time and I think it's also like time better spent. So yeah, I recommend you get yourself a really good diary, really good planner and at the start of your day, plan in stuff that you need to get done, um, plan your week, things you want to revise and cover. Um, as you get homework, shove it in your planner. You can get some nice planners from Paper Chase as well. Use your little uni days student discount if you're a student. And you know, if you like to spend your revision breaks doing online shopping, you can use your uni days discount too. Link in the bio. <laughs> um, honestly though, please do not stress about how many hours you are doing. Don't compare it to me. Don't compare it to your friend. Don't compare it to anyone. Just be honest with yourself, be honest with where you're at academically and what you need to focus on yourself. And in doing that, you really cannot go wrong. As long as you actually do some work each day, you make it a habit, you know, you put the effort in, um, then the number of hours you spend is not that important. And I'm sorry if in this video you wanted me to say like, here's an equation, the key to getting A stars is nine hours work a day, <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, when you have to stay up till 2 a.m. revising, yeah, this equals 11 A stars done. Like, it doesn't work like that. <laughs> um, find the revision methods that work for you, become productive in your time, work less, but work better. So yeah, I do hope this helped in some way. If you feel like you've been on YouTube for far too long today and you're simply procrastinating and you're ready to click on a next video that's suggested next to my video, don't do that. I dare you to actually use some work and revise. Um, also a massive thank you to Uni Days for sponsoring this video. I like to help students out. Uni Days likes to help students out. It's a great relationship. Um, so yeah, click that link in my description to get your free student discounts. I hope everything's going well for you at school. I hope life is okay. I hope it's chilled, you know, it's great. I am actually going to a party tonight. Yay. <laughs> I have got um, an applicant day at Lancaster Uni tomorrow because I applied there without having actually seen the university. So I'm getting on a train at 4 a.m. tomorrow. Yes, 4 a.m. tomorrow with my dad. I'm dragging him up with me. So if any of you are at that Lancaster applicant day, I mean, I will be posting this on Wednesday. So it was last Saturday for you, then great, might see you there. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.